Okay, um, and also please indulge me in welcoming to the stage the professional wheelchair tennis player and exoskeleton user, Charlotte Fairbank. So hello everyone, I'm Nicola, I'm the founder of Fondercraft. And this is Charlotte, she will be demoing the, our personal exoskeleton uh, later. Uh, so when she's striping into the device, I will be talking about the company I founded uh, 12 years ago. So uh, I graduated from uh, Ecole Polytechnique, which is a French engineering school, and uh, Imperial College uh, with a specialization in artificial intelligence. So 12 years ago, it was already uh, a trend. And um, I also have a, a family with a genetic disease, which is called charcot marie -Touf. So my grandmother had the disease, and she had 10 children, and uh, seven of the 10 children have uh, the disease, so uh, including my father, uh, who gave it to my brother and my sister. So people in my family lose the ability to walk uh, as they grew old, and uh, they end up using a wheelchair. So just after graduating from uh, my engineering school, uh, I looked at what existed at that time uh, in robotics, and it was the time where we had the first videos of Boston Dynamics with a robot walking on a frozen lake, and it was pushed, and at that time it was reacting to keep its balance very fast, and what struck me at that time is that it was really reacting like an animal would do. And I told myself, okay, so now we have the science to reproduce the inner workings of a brain, animal brain. And what I want to do with this technology is to build a new device to help people in wheelchair uh, walk again and uh, go around uh, in, the strip or in the streets or in their home uh, with this device. Um, so what we did is we built like a humanoid robot, so it's really like the legs of a humanoid robot, 12 degrees of freedom, 12 motors, uh, a lot of sensors, so we have first sensors in the ground, inertial sensors a bit everywhere in the structures, position sensors, and we take all this information uh, at 1000 Hz by seconds, we compute the optimal motion uh, to keep the stability. And it's a very hard problem, because even for a, a child, it takes one year to learn how to walk, as, as much as long as to learn how to talk. So we do it without thinking about it, but the brain is working all the time to adjust your position, to keep your balance. And it's particularly hard uh, for bi bipedal, uh, so that's why robots started with uh, quadrupeds, uh, because bipeds is harder. Uh, so we, wo we work tw 12 years of R&D, we are now 100 uh, people, we've raised uh, 70 million dollars and we invested in uh, developing uh, this product. Uh, we started by releasing a first generation of our product in 2019, so it's a rehabilitation product, it's called Atalant. Uh, it helps people uh, learn how to walk again after a stroke, for example, in a rehabilitation institute. Uh, we have helped more than 2,000 patients um, relearn to walk after a stroke. But the end goal was always to build the device for people to be able to take, take them home, to use it in their home environment or in the streets, uh, to go into a park with their friends. And uh, after 12 years of work, uh, we are proud to present you this personal exoskeleton. And uh, yeah, now Charlotte will do the demo. Thanks, Nicola. Um, hi, everyone. I'm happy to be here. My name is Charlotte Fairbank and I have been a full-time wheelchair user for the last 16 years, almost. Um, so in 2007, I had an accident uh, where a bale of hay, um, it's quite an original accident, um, a bale of hay crushed me. Um, it, it was very heavy and it crushed my back. It rendered me paraplegic. Um, so when you're paraplegic, you can no longer feel your legs or move your legs at all. So I've got complete paraplegia, I can't move um, my legs at all. Wondercraft has um, enabled me to, to walk again. Um, so the first time I w worked with Wondercraft was uh, just under two years ago in August 2022. 
I was initially using or walking uh, with their rehabilitation device. Um, and I really think that um, there is a massive future for um, the exoskeleton. So you're now going to see me, uh, for the first time in 16 years, uh, walk across a main stage. Here we go. Are we ready? So I'm now in speed number two. Um, I'm going to switch in speed number three. Um, there are different speeds. And I'm going to try and go and pick up this bag. Um, so there are different uh, modes. So there's the walking mode that you've just seen. There's also a free mode, uh, which allows you to kind of have more um, of an active uh, side to the exoskeleton. Um, so I'm going to quickly going to switch. So this allows me to move around a little bit more and go and grab the bag. Um, I can now turn around a little bit more. Um, there's also, in order to um, so move around with this exoskeleton, as you can see, I'm using a remote control. It's easy to hold. Um, I can also clip it here if I want um, to go and reach something and I don't want the, the uh, remote in my hand. Um, all I have to do is push on this uh, joystick at the end of the remote control to move sideways, forwards, backwards, um, move around. And this also works with a motion sensor, uh, which is behind my back. So this motion sensor detects kind of my initial movements, so my intentions, really. Um, so when I'm, for example, standing up or sitting back down, the l light kind of inclination that I have with my back, that will be sensed by the sensor, and it will enable, enable me to stand up and, and sit back down again. Um, so I'll, I'll just turn around, um, and then I'll let uh, Nico speak again and um, talk about the future of Wondercraft. Yeah. So that was our first uh, live demo on stage. So it went well. No demo effect. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm really happy to have done that because uh, you see the smile of Charlotte, and that's really why we're working for that. Uh, we're giving smile to people and to my family. To we all have people, uh, you know. Uh, knowledge that have mobility impairments, and you saw that what AI is able to do. It's quite a complex machine. It took us 12 years of hard work. We have a lot of top engineering guys in our company uh, that are working very hard uh, to solve the problem every day, and what we are seeing now is that it's really accelerating really fast 
with AI and the latest technique in uh, machine learning. Uh, we've seen incredible progress in our labs because the new techniques, really, when you use it, it's like you're able to reproduce the performance of the brain, of the human brain. So what, whatever you're able to do with your body, the machine is able to do it. So for example, we have new algorithms that are able to handle pushing slopes, uh, stairs. Uh, we're also adding vision sensors on the device. And everything is possible thanks to AI. So for, for us, AI is really about empowering people. Uh, so the science, the technology, I'm, I'm a true believer in progress and science. And this is a, a good example of what we can do uh, if you use the technology well. And another good news uh, is that Medicare, because technology is beautiful, but access to the technology is more important. Um, so that's quite a complex uh, machine, and it has a cost. But uh, Medicare decided uh, in April 20, uh, 2024, so this year, very recently, to cover personal exoskeleton. So it means that in the US, 70% uh, of the people with SCI will have access to such a device. So it's really big news. <laughs> and now we are hoping, that because we are a French company, that France will follow uh, the US example. And as we are scaling production, because we are preparing to produce it uh, at large scale, uh, we really hope to get the cost down, because in the end, it's only like 12 electric motors, so it's mostly like uh, 12 electric bicycles. So there's no reason that the cost cannot go down. And there is millions of people needing such a device. Uh, for example, in the US, there is 2 million people uh, that use a wheelchair, uh, being uh, spinal cord injury, stroke patients that were not able to walk again after stroke, multiple sclerosis, degenerative disease, like uh, in my family, charcot marie -Touf. So it's really millions of people. And if we produce it at scale, it can go down a, 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 a lot. And for example, it's 10 times less weight than a core, 10 times less components. So there's no reason if we produce hundreds of thousands of millions of them that it doesn't cost 10 times less than a core. Thank you. Bo? Wow. Thank you so much. And uh, do you know, I tried this out in 2019. I visited your offices and I filmed oh, nice. with the BBC. So I have stood where you've been, you're standing now. And back then, it was really big. It was clunky. I had to buy high shoes so that I could fit. And it's just amazing to see how far you've come. So what's next? So as I said, we are working every generation to get thinner, lighter. Uh, more able to address uh, an event ground, adverse environment, even going uh, into a crowd, navigating uh, complex spaces, and really it's going very fast with the development. So this is the version today, but tomorrow we'll have even better one. Oh, I wish you all the best of luck. What a powerful demonstration. Thank you very much to the Thank Wondercraft you. team and Charlotte. Thank, Thank you. you as well. Thank well you. done, my goodness. Thank you. Right, I think we're going to gently, casually walk off stage because you can. I love how we've normalized this, by the way. Isn't that amazing? Just walk off with your exoskeleton and I'll tell you what's going to be in store for after lunch. <laughs>